I guess final question: what, What's the next chapter for Iroko? You've done, you've done movies, you've done music. What, what else do you have in mind? What else is there? Um, so, I think <coughs> for the first year we were simply a YouTube partner, and we made money. The Second year we launched Iroko TV and we um, we basically invested an abnormal amount of money in Nigerian entertainment to shift, to kind of I guess reflect our view of how this thing should look like. Mm -hmm. um, so from musicians to movie stars to like production houses to everybody like we have, we shifted the ecosystem to reflect how we think it should look like. Um, and we've spent millions of dollars doing that. I think we'll probably continue spending millions of dollars um, on, 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 on shifting that. So it's, you know, we've disrupted the whole ecosystem. And, you know, the previous distribution partners, the previous content partners are still trying to understand what it is we're trying to do. Um, we are still trying to understand what we're trying to do. So I think for us it's um, how do we take an industry which is like digitally it was like down here. Mm -hmm. How do we take it up here without taking all of the value out of it? Um, because for us, it's, you know, it's we can literally like, we can take all of the value out of the Nigerian entertainment um, industry. Um, it'd be very difficult for any other entertainment company to make more money than we will make in both movies and music. Music less over, mainly movies. It's very difficult for anyone to make more money than us outside of DSTV. Um, and over the next five years, um, so again, the internet is pretty poor still in Nigeria. Um, if we have a library of 10,000 movies for you to watch, will you still go on to, uh, African Magic and still watch your movie? You know, for us, the next five years will determine what the consumption patterns of Nigerians will look like. And I think if you look to the West, you see how the digital players have really sort of changed the the whole the whole sort of stack. So for us, it's we are super focused on building like the largest new media company um, in Africa, not even in Nigeria. Um, we're very sort of long term in our in our view of that. So we're like three to five years minimum for us to get there. Um, we. <coughs> We recently set up, uh, Mary Bashan and I, we recently set up a, uh, we haven't announced it though, we recently set up a, um, like a seed investment firm. Um, so we've been making investments, um, anything from 10000 to $100,000 in the next generation of like Nigerian um, entrepreneurs. Um, I think over the last three weeks we've done about 12, uh, 12 deals, put about half a million dollars to work. Um, so Iwoko is our day job. What we are really passionate about is uh, growing the ecosystem of um, Nigerian um, internet, and you know we have access to millions of dollars to be able to put that to work. So our view is, um, as a worker, we're going to see ourselves as being seed investors to, I guess, encourage the next generation of um, of, uh, of internet entrepreneurs. Because as far as I'm concerned, um, if you look at how wealth has been created in 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 Nigeria, at least over the last like well post um, post um, independence, there's like waves of things happening. Um, if you look at all of the banks, all of the banks were basically created in like a five year window between eighty nine and nineteen ninety four. Like the GTS, the Diamonds, all of those banks were created in that particular window. Yeah. Um, can you create a bank to rival any of those banks today? Impossible. Um, if you look at the mobile. Um, if you look at the mobile sort of uh, telco business, um, there was like a five year window when all of those companies were created. I think it was like from MTN and um, sort of Glow, was like sort of two or three years between and Airtel came in or Celtel before them. So there are these pockets of time where you basically can kind of create, at the time which we looked at stupid money being spent there, but turn into like a um, <coughs> like multi billion dollar industries. And I think. The internet is, the internet will be that next wave. If you look everywhere in the world, everywhere in the world, uh, outside of Africa, every world, everywhere in the world outside of Africa, there have been um, hundreds of millions, if not billions of dollars created in value, in wealth, 
via the internet and internet sort of like related services, except for Africa. Um, everywhere you look in the world, it's like young people who are doing it. So it's like 35 and under. Um, me, I'm a fucking dinosaur, I'm 32. Um, so it's like the Africa, like Africa not, like Africa could not, not be part of that. So f for me, it's like from January for the next five years out, um, I think the value creation of the internet in Nigeria and the rest of Africa is just going to go like, literally like that. Um, so I'm literally here to encourage as many people to start thinking of that, just getting involved in the internet. Mm -hmm. um, I think this time last year, there was no e-commerce play in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. No like actual proper e-commerce play in Nigeria. Fast forward 10 months, you have you and Jumia, you guys are all, so you and uh, Congo, you guys are all like um, duking it out, spending like tens of millions of dollars trying to explore and exploit the um, e-commerce opportunity in Nigeria. This time last year that never existed. It literally didn't. So it shows you how fast things can move. Two years ago, no one talked about streaming rights, digital rights, VOD, SVOD, all the rest of the stuff. No one talked about it. Fast forward two years, you know, Iroko is worth um, a huge amount of money in a very short period of time. And like, look at the fucking guys who run it. A couple of like young guys. Um, and we run it on our terms, on our vision. And people will largely leave us alone. But they've entrusted us with like, you know, millions of dollars to be able to do that. So for me, it's Africa will not get left behind. The internet will be like a, it will probably be the, 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 the biggest transformational thing to happen in Africa um, in the 2010, 2020. I think that the internet will be the biggest change. And I think a lot of wealth will be created. It will be created for like young people. Um, you guys employ like what, 200 and plus people. We employ over 100 people. Congo employ 100 people. Like There's about 1,000 people employed in the internet space today in Nigeria. Um, I see that growing to like 10,000 people. I literally see that growing 10,000 people in the next like two years. Mm -hmm. And then from there, it will just become like a world amongst itself. And I guess, you know, Bastian Murray and I and our little um, seed investment firm, we just kind of want to get as much money out there as possible to the right people to help build that yep. ecosystem. All right, guys, Jason and Joko. Thank you. Thank you.